guys. guys welcome back to our channel today we're so excited and i'm tear i'm brie and today we're doing our october favorites mm -hmm. this is the first mm -hmm. favorites that we've done together on our channel so we're uberly excited so y'all might want to get a snack or something because there's no telling how long this is going to take right. we're going to try to keep it short <laughs> and not ramble too much but yeah Brie's gonna so start i'm gonna start off with this mac lip liner in cork hmm Okay, yeah, this MAC lip liner in cork and the reason why I love this lip liner oh so much is because it tones down all those bright lippies that I I won't say accidentally buy because I buy them on purpose, but I know I know good or well they don't fit my skin tone So I got to tone it down a tad bit and this is perfect for that and it's also good for nudes because I'm into nudes this fall So I love this lip liner. Once again, it's MAC lip liner in cork Okay, so for my next favorites, I'm going to mention them together. Um, the first is Kat Von D's LUV Lipstick. This is part of her Liquid Lipstick Collection at Sephora. And this is $19. And I love this thing so much. Now, this is a spring-summer color. Yes, I will admit that. <laughs> <laughs> but I pair it with Max Night Moth. And we all know the hype with Night Moth. So yeah. I'm just, let me, y'all probably already know what this looks like. So I'm not going to swatch it. But I will swatch this. And when I tell y'all this stuff like dries matte, it dries matte. And this is night. This is LUV by Kat Von D. And I'm wearing it on my lips. I'm wearing these two together. I'm wearing Night Moth, and I'm wearing this Kat Von D LUV lipstick. And I just love them so much. Like this lets me wear like this Mac Night Moth allows me to wear this in the fall and winter. <laughs> we Even all love that. <laughs> yeah. So I have transitional lipsticks. So yeah, that's good. I have this <clears throat> next lip liner, and it's from Kiss, Kiss New York, and this lip liner is called Mixed Berries. It was about $3 at my local beauty supply store, and let me read you what this claims is doing, which is all true, by the way. It's 24-hour wear, waterproof, high-intensity pigments, non-smudging, and feathering, and this is very good quality for the price. I wore it one Sunday. I don't know what Sunday, but I wore it one <laughs> Sunday, and it literally was on my lips all day all day long now i do suggest when you wear this you need to put some chapstick because it can be a bit drying to the lips but nonetheless it's a very pretty color perfect for fall it's a berry color so this is perfect for fall all right and my next favorite is ruby woo which is a this is everybody's <laughs> perfect red yeah. color like so y'all can probably understand when i say i wear the mess out of this lipstick let me see how much i have left. i wear the mess wow yeah. I didn't realize I had that much <laughs> Dang, okay. That was a rude so, awakening. Right, right, it really was. Because I'm, I'm about to buy another one soon. But I will pay the $16 for yeah. this lipstick. Because I love it. It's like the perfect red color. Yeah. Like, I just love it so much. And this is a color that you can get away with wearing in the fall and winter. But it's primarily for the summer and spring. But y'all know how I roll. You can get away with it. I can get away I with it. I will be wearing my Ruby Ruby. Yeah, so I love this lipstick so much. The next one I want to talk about is an everyday lip gloss that I got. It's by Aume. Let's see when it'll focus. This is by Aume. I got this from Walgreens. And I want to say it was $5.99. I got it for, really? for a sale. So I, I, I think the sale was two for $5.99. I'm not sure. But the color is rosy lipped. And it's not really... um pigmented like it don't have a color but it is a balm so it keeps your lips very hydrated and i just throw this in my school bag so when i'm at school and my lips feel a little dry i just you know <laughs> swatch it up but this is perfect and it's from the drugstore so you don't have to worry about wearing your expensive lipstick at school because yeah. you know you ain't trying to impress nobody exactly <laughs> <laughs> so my next favorite is max sin and this no, it was not part of the matte collection. Although I do have two lipsticks from that collection. This is a matte lipstick. I'll show yeah. you a swatch. And this is what it looks like. This is a really, really pretty color. Like this is the perfect fall color. I'm not a big fan of Max Diva. I don't. I'm not into the whole burgundy lip. It's either it's red. Ooh, it's not red and this is like the perfect brownish like it's like it's more brown than red so i really 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 love this color so as opposed to diva if you're not a big fan of diva or you don't want so much of a burgundy lip like me then you can go for max diva and it's perfect and it's matte and i just love it so much i wore it in my mac mustache video so yeah yeah, yeah. So, my next favorite, I'm sure you guys heard this all around YouTube, but the LA Girl Pro Concealer, mm. and this color is in Toast. This is a very good concealer for the price. It was $2 at my local beauty supply store. You can get this online, but 
I have a beauty supply store that sells it. So I bought it from the beauty supply store. It was two dollars there, and this is good quality for the price. So if you have a chance, stop by and pick this up. You will not be disappointed. Nope. And I have that one too. So I really like it. I don't know why I didn't have it in my favorites, but it really is a good concealer. So a concealer that I do have in my favorites is the Mac Pro Longwear Concealer, y'all. This is my baby, my ride or die concealer. Like when gurus tell you that this concealer does not budge, it does not budge, it does not crease. Like this concealer is awesome. They are not lying to you. They are being a hundred with you. So I love this concealer. And if, for those of you who are wondering, in the spring and summer, I am a NZ50. In the winter, I'm an NW45. Yeah. Okay, my next favorite is a NYX product. I'm obsessed with NYX. And I had to include it. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cashmere. And I mainly use this to highlight my inner tear duct. But I also wear this on my lid from time to time. It actually makes some of my golds more bright, vibrant. So I use, I usually use this. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how. If, if this is all that I get. But we're not, <laughs> we're not going to get into Try that again. Try it. See what happened? I'm going to sharpen. I, okay. I'm telling you, I saw a video on these girls on YouTube. They said that you could sharpen this. If I can't, just comment. Just comment down below. If I can't, just comment down below. But you know what? I'm going to try it. But I don't think they were that expensive. I don't remember the exact price. I'm I want to say $2, but I don't remember the exact they price. $2. Really? They my mom $4. bought it. <gasps> well, my mom bought it. So. <laughs> so, yeah. This is a favorite of mine. Definitely go get it if you're into that jumbo eye pencil thing. And if you got a hardcore shopper that gets you that <laughs> it's on my next <laughs> Okay, guys, so my next favorite is the MAC Spite Lip Glass. This is one of those lip glasses where you can, like, wear it and get away with it for our, our skin complexion and not have you looking like you just ate, like, a 10 powder donuts. Powder donuts. <laughs> like, it'll, it's, a it's a very pretty color. Um, for me, I <laughs> love this, like lip glass like i love it so much like i'm on the verge of running out of this one so when i do you best believe i will be buying another one okay next is the milani bella copper metallic eyeshadow and this one it was four dollars at cvs i don't know how much it is at another drugstore but i got this from cvs and it was four dollars and this one I, I really like this color i'm trying to lean more into the metallic eyeshadow look i'm trying to experiment so i got this i want to pick up other colors because these colors are so pigmented and they they're very good quality i've heard a lot of people raving about it mainly erica Fay. but these colors these eyeshadows are very high quality and they're good pigments so i definitely suggest you go pick some up yeah <laughs> Okay, my next favorite is actually a brush. And what I love about this brush is that I'm not a fan of, like, the painter foundation brushes. This brush, if you can tell, is dense. Like, it's not going anywhere. And this is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. I just love this brush so much. You can find Real Techniques at Ulta. And I found mine at Wegmans because we have a Wegmans in our area. So I really, 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 really love this brush so much. And I don't know if you can get this brush by itself I, because it came in a pack of four. But I know they have another brush that's similar, that's similar that you can get by itself. But I love this brush. And all the other brushes that it came with is good, are good as well. But I just gravitated towards this brush because I love it for like buffing and my foundation. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Okay, my next favorite is a paint pot by MAC. This is called Camel Coat. And I really love this because it keeps my eyeshadows lasting all day. I put this on one day. I wanted to say it was like 9.30 in the morning. Didn't take it off till about 10 at night. And my eyeshadow was still staying put. So, of course I had to include this in my favorites. This and the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Those are the only two primers that have worked for me so far. So if you have any more suggestions, please leave them down below because I get super oily eyelids. So leave me some suggestions, <laughs> preferably cheaper, but yeah, keep them down in the comments below. Okay. Um, the next, well, this is the last makeup favorite I have. This is my MAC blush palette. I'm starting my own palette and I love that idea. I was never like a, oh my God, let me go get some blush type wear. <laughs> but like, I will just fill this up. And honestly, I don't think I would go buy another blush. So I think I'm. what I have in here is Raisin, Format, and Breath of Plum. 
I'm wearing Breath of Plum today. It's really light, but I really, really do like Max blushes. So I do plan on getting three more. So if you have any suggestions for me, just leave them in the comments. My next favorite is my Naked 3 palette. I love mm. this palette. I really like this palette because you can choose to do your look whether you want it to be very natural looking mm -hmm. or you can smoke it up a bit. So it's very versatile. I really like the packaging on this yeah, as pretty. well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is a palette that I go to every time I go out. When we go to the movies, you know. I always <laughs> gravitate towards this because this is my favorite. <laughs> All right, you can just keep going. Don't have no more. Okay, favorites. the next two favorites that I have are nail polishes. Actually, this one is called Nail Sensation, and I can't. I'm bad at describing colors. I want to say it's like a berry. A, yeah. And at first, when I bought this, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm I wasn't into dark colors because I prefer light colors. But when I put this on my nails. I don't know. I found myself reaching for it so much this fall. So I really mm -hmm. like this nail color. And the other one that I got is called Let Me Go. And this is from Sinful Colors. Now, I really like this. The camera is not letting you Doing see. It but it has like a greenish, bluish, yellowish. Like it's like, I don't know how to say it. But it's not um purple. Well, it is kind of purple. But it's kind of more clear. So it's kind of a perfect nail polish for when... You don't know what color you want to paint your nails. Mm -hmm. So you under you like still design so you could just throw this in your nails. So I really like this because it's just for that purpose basically. Oh yeah. So next we're gonna move to mm -hmm. our jewelry favorites. And I have like three things. So I guess I'll just start it off. My first favorite is this necklace. I have been wearing the mess out of this necklace. And this is what it looks like. It's a nice chunky statement piece. It fits on your neck like so. So yeah, I love this piece. I got it from Charming Charlie's. I don't know if we're if a Charming Charlie's is something that's everywhere or it's just like in the DMV area and that's DC, Maryland, and Virginia. So yeah, I love this necklace so much. I think it was about $27. But let me tell you, it is so worth it. It's so sturdy. Like I wear it with everything. And it has peaches and reds and blacks and Basically, if you have some like a dry outfit and you really want to, you know, spice it up a bit without looking like you did too much, throw this necklace on. Like, I love it so much. And again, I got it from Charming Charlie's. Oh, are you continuing? You have your jewelry favorite. Oh, this is the only jewelry favorite of mine. This is my earring and it has a B on it for Brie, of course. <laughs> and I got this from my friend Chanel. She gave it to me and I had to feature it because I would wear the mess out of these earrings. And I really love them. They're simple but they do the job they do the job <laughs> okay so the next favorite i have is a bangle and it is a buckle bangle i got this bangle off of amazon and it was a believe i believe 20 dollars, but it's stainless steel one thing about me i either like my jewelry to be either real or if it's costume like the necklace that i showed you before it'd be costume and i know it's gonna be costume but things like this i like to wear every day so i either like it to be actual like silver or gold or i like it to be stainless steel so that way i know it's not going to turn when i wash yeah. my hands or anything like that so yeah this is what it looks like a closer view it's like a nice little mango i got it from amazon so i just thought it was really cute and it's gold and i love gold so yeah and my next to last jewelry favorite is this necklace this is another costume piece. I got this necklace from Forever 21. And as you can tell, it's like different types of silvers and golds and bronze. And I just love this necklace. It's nice and chunky and it pretty much goes with everything because it has literally like every type of steel and the yeah. rainbow in it. So yes, I really, really, really love this um, necklace. I believe it might be still on their website. I got this maybe a month and a half, two months ago and it was only $10.80. So I was like, yes, I need it. I live for statement necklaces. So yeah. Okay, so now we're going to get into skin and body care. And the favorite that goes along with that is my Nivea lotion. This lotion is so rich and so hydrating for the skin. Because it's cold. Well, it's not, I won't say it's cold here. But the mornings and the nights have been cold. And my skin has been suffering. So this lotion has been helping me out big time. The formula is for very dry skin. And I tend to have very dry skin on my legs and stuff. So... This works perfect for me. I really like this. I, get, I recommend y'all pick this up. I got this from Giant and it was about $6.99. But I'm sure you can find it cheaper. But this was $6.99, the one I purchased. So, All right. My next favorite like deals in the with the skinny, skin and body care is more of the 
Scenti Skin Body Care. Scenti, there we go. <laughs> skin and Body Care. It is the Nicki Minaj Pink Friday Perfume. Y'all. Let me, let me just spray it. Not like y'all can smell it, but... <laughs> it smells so freaking good. Like, it's fruity without being, like, yeah. overwhelmingly fruity. But it's, like, not like... You just punched me in the face with strawberries and apples type fruity. Like, I love this smell so much. And I think the bottle is actually really creative. At first, I thought it was kind of creepy. Yeah. But I really, really love this. Like, every time I wear it, everybody's like, what are you wearing? Like, what's that smell? Like, my mom will come in my room and, like, steal my perfume <laughs> and act like I'm not going to be able to smell it. But I love this thing so much. Okay, let's keep the scents going. <laughs> this is another body butter. This is the Intense Moisture Body Butter. I got this from Bath and Body Works. And I actually don't remember the price my mother gave this to me but this is good for hydrating the skin as well look at how thick it is i don't know if you can tell but this is so intense and it smells so good and I do. yeah i love this especially for when it gets cold and my skin needs that extra mm. yeah extra <laughs> hydration i definitely use this or the or the nivea all right, and my last Scentsy body care stuff is from Victoria's Secret and is in the flavor Coconut's Passion. This is not really a perfume. It's like a mist, but it smells good. Like, it's not fruity at all. It's like... Well. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fruity. It's not going to work for me today. I don't know what it's... I, I'm not good at... It's like a coconut and vanilla... <laughs> vanilla and coconut smell like i this is originally fourteen dollars and fifty cent but actually i did not pay fourteen dollars and fifty cent for this um the way victoria's secret pink program works out sometimes you can get little coupons in the mail so i actually got this for free and i Yay. really really we like love free things we should <laughs> okay so my next product is this angels on bare skin by lush and i use this for exfoliating and this works really well it makes my skin super smooth but it is drying if you exfoliate and don't put on moisture. So, when I use this, then I have to put this lotion on because my skin will be dry if I just use this. But it's good and it smells so good. This one has lavender in it. So, I like the smell of lavender. It's very soothing. And it makes my skin so smooth. I'm almost out. I'm devastated because I'm about to pay another $15 <laughs> to get another one. But, yeah. The Lush Angels on Bare Skin. You can also use this on your face, but I think it's too sweet for my face. So I never use it on my face. I only use it on my body. But, yeah. Okay, my next favorite is my scarf that I have been rocking lately. Because it's not, it hasn't been like Brie said, oh my god, cold. Yeah. But I'm anemic, so it's like any type of yeah. chilliness, I ain't with it. We feel so it. So this is the scarf. That I had. It's a nice long scarf. My mom got it for me. So, yes. I have to ask her where she got it from. But, yeah. I want it so pretty. Yes. And I love it so much. Like, it gives you that those colors that, like, scream fall and winter. Like, oh, my goodness. I love this scarf so much. But, yes. This is my favorite. It's my scarf. <laughs> I also have another scarf. This scarf is a it's a cheetah print scarf. I don't know how um effective it is at covering my neck, but this is what it looks like when I put it on. And I got this mainly because it was cheetah print and I'm like obsessed with cheetah print. Mm -hmm. So that's why I got this. And that's perfect for fall. But I also wear these little I don't know what they're called. These little whatever they're called. And I got this from Claire's and it was about $12. I think that's a little bit pricey because I see them at beauty supply stores for $5. So of course I was a little heartbroken when I discovered that. But I think these are super cute. Like mm -hmm. when in the mornings when your ears are cold and you could just throw these on. These are so cute. They are cute. I got another one too guys. This one is like brown and cream. Oh, it doesn't show up that well. But this is so pretty. <laughs> So, yeah. Is that... You're done with your favorites? Yes, I'm done with my favorites. I guess I should finish mine. <laughs> my next favorite is my pick. I don't have my fro today. But when I do have my fro, I just pick it up. The, what the pick does for me is it adds volume. And it allows me to shape my second and third day hair to however I want it to be. So, yeah. My pick. And look at that little cute little... How to the people sound. I really like that. Yeah. I really like that. Okay. So let me hurry up and do this. My next favorites are my booties. Look at these. Aren't they cute? I really like these guys. I've been wearing these ever since, ever since my sandals went away. 
I've been wearing these. And I think they are so cute. I don't remember where I purchased these. I purchased these from a small boutique in the mall. And I wanted to say these were $25, but I'm not sure. I got these a while ago. But these are perfect. They, You can wear them with a casual outfit and you can also wear them with a dressy outfit. I tend to dress them up, but I think these are so cute. And then I also have some more shoes. Let me get them. <laughs> These are some flats that I got from a boutique in, no, not a boutique. I got these from Payless. <laughs> and But I got them from New York, New York. That's the Payless in New York, and they were on sale for $20. Look at how cute they are. Look at the little thing on the front. I think these are so cute, but they're really comfortable. They have like a cushion on the inside, so if you're doing a lot of walking, that's what I recommend these for. But I really got these because I knew that I was going to need them at the end of the summer. And I needed something comfortable because I was going to be on my feet. And I said, these are so perfect. But these are perfect for fall. And I tend to wear these a lot when I'm not wearing my booties. So, yeah. That's it <laughs> for my favorites. Okay, so next we're going to jump into our random favorites. And in our random favorites, we're going to talk about apps and songs. And even if we have food that we like, but I don't think we have food today. No, that's part food. of our favorites. Okay, so my first random favorite is an app. The app is called Spotify. On this app, you can listen to music. They have like, okay, so I'm a student. Mm -hmm. I go to college. And because I'm a student, it's $5 a month for me to listen to music. If I, if I was not a student or when I graduate, it would be $10 a month. Now, the awesome thing about this app is that any album that comes out is on this app. Um, Beyonce's album, Ariana Grande's album, The Weeknd's album, Drake, Lil Wayne. Whenever they drop an album, instead of you paying $15 for that album on iTunes, I highly, highly, highly suggest you going on Spotify and then you just listen to whatever album you want for $5 a month. And it's not like you have to be connected to Wi-Fi in order to listen to them as well. You can also download them on a separate playlist and that way you can listen to them on the go. I just highly, highly, highly recommend that app. It's just awesome. Okay, so a favorite app of mine, which I'm on all day, literally. Pinterest, I'm sure you guys oh, yeah, know. Like Everybody be on Pinterest, but yeah. like Pinterest is where I get inspiration. It's where I go when I just need some me time and I just want to, you know, be weird because I get a lot of um, DIY recipes for hair, skin, and I also get a lot of like style inspiration. I get to stalk people, you know. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> stalk people's style, mainly Solange. I'm, I'm obsessed with her style, but... Pinterest is my favorite app right now. I'm literally always on it, so, yeah. Okay, my next random favorites are songs. I would play this song for you, but I don't have my phone on me. Right. And we're not going to say why. <laughs> but, yes, um, my song is Don't Judge Me, you guys. It's One Direction Still My Girl. Mm -hmm. Have you heard this song? No. That is my song. Every No. So, yes, that is my <laughs> song. I was about to break out, but I'm like, Tyranny, do not embarrass yourself. So, yes. That is my last. Overall favorite, guys. Okay. A song that I've been loving as of late is Billie Holiday, Lover Man. Oh, where can he be? Or where can you be? I really like that song, guys. I don't know why. I'm just an old soul. But whenever I just want to wind down, I turn on my Billie Holiday station on Pandora. And I just wind down. Because, let's be honest. I like, I like, okay. I like, I like R&B. I like pop. Mainly, I really like pop, but sometimes I just want to soothe myself and get back into some old school, you know. So, that's what I do. And it takes me away from all the schoolwork that I have to do. Man, calms my brain down. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. This has been our October favorites. Um, I can tell you right now, I have a feeling this is going to be a very, very lengthy video so i hope you had your popcorn your snacks your soda your juice your water your something right i hope you had it with you and uh, we really 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 hope you enjoyed this favorites we worked really really hard and if you have any suggestions leave them down below in the comments and again don't forget to like comment and subscribe make sure you subscribe 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 and follow our instagram page yes our instagram page is curls loves math which is the same title as this and you will be updated to when we film and a little bit in our personal lives a little bit so yes yeah, so if you want to get to know us just let us know so this has been awesome you guys thanks so much for watching and bye, bye.